Hey everyone, I thought I'll create a quick video to show y'all what I'm packing for an upcoming um, Spartan Ultra Beast. Um, so we'll start here with the Camelback. Um, so this is a normal Camelback I've bought off Amazon for like $30. Um, it comes with a bladder, but um, I'm not really a fan of the bladder. So I uh, just use this as a, um, almost like as a backpack to store stuff in the front, then also store stuff uh, in the back. Um, I'm a big fan of the, the Solomon Camelbacks, but obviously those those aren't cheap. So decided to keep this one. I've used it probably about half a dozen times for different Spartan beasts and supers um, the past couple of years. Um, but what I use to keep hydrated is um, these two 17 ounces collapsible um, water containers, Gatorade containers. Um, they work well. So when you're finished, it's, it's less weight that you have to carry. Then I also have um, extra two eight ounce um, water bottles uh, to use. Um, what I use for fuel, uh, over the past couple months that I've been training, I've noticed that these have worked well for me um, in my long runs. Um, they always say, I guess you need probably between 100 to 150 calories uh, an hour while you're doing these uh, these Ultra Beasts. And these, um, I usually bought them off of Amazon for like $30. They came in like a, like a 12 pack. Uh, but these have worked well for me and give me energy for the uh, long strenuous activities. Uh, I'm also packing um, pickle juice. So a lot of, a lot of things that I'm actually packing, I'll, I'll say this first, um, I've gotten ideas from different bloggers that have done these races over the past couple of years. And then what I've also used in the past that has also helped me. Um, so you see, I got some Pedialyte for during the, uh, the transition and after the race. And also these right here, sports and science, these have worked well for me also in the past in different Spartan races. So like the Hawaii trifecta weekend I did, um, and then also the Montana beast have, these have worked well for me. They are actually, um, the sports energy supplements. So they, they come in the, in the gel form, but they have bars and also, also, um, other stuff on their website. Um, as you can see, obviously I'm not going to take all these, but these are Aleve liquid gels. Uh, I prefer the liquid gels because they, uh, they, absorb faster into the body. Um, so I, those are, those are good. Obviously I won't take them all. Um, little medical pack. So I got, um, ankle wrap just in case, aqua four, and then some band-aids and then extra bags. And then I have a sleeve, uh, for my, so I have a, a tattoo sleeve on my, on my left arm. And if I'm wearing short sleeves, then I'll, I'll wear this. But if I'm wearing long sleeves, um, then I probably won't wear them. So going back over here, I just have a little like mini rain jacket that I can easily throw into my Camelback if needed. A um, couple snacks along the way, sugar snacks, salty snacks, peanuts, something that's easy that can easily, like something that I can easily swallow. So I noticed that during long workouts, I'm, it's easier for me to eat smaller foods, liquids, so I'm easy to swallow, but like when it comes down to like eating like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something bigger or whatever, it's, it doesn't really sit well and it doesn't, I'm not able to swallow it as easy, um, as, as normal foods. So this is actually for the transition that my little small bunch that I can easily just drink within a couple of minutes or so. I also have, uh, electrolyte salts. I've actually never tried these before, but, um, one of the bloggers that I, that I've read from previous ultra beasts that they've done. They said they work really well. Um, some chapstick, a little beanie, obviously hand lamp. And then um, uh, chem lights are glow sticks. Also have a uh, change of shoes, change of socks for the transition. Gatorade, because uh, normally I would fill these up with Gatorade with a little mixture of water also. Um, change of clothes. So if I want to change clothes after, like during the transition or after the race, couple shirts and then another pair of shorts and then shoes for after, um, after the race is completed. Um, but yeah, so I'll throw a couple links in the description of what the previous blogs that I've read in the past from previous runners. But, um, but if you have any questions, um, please let me know. I also have a couple, a couple grocery bags to use for, um, dirty clothes after I'm completed. But obviously you just throw this all into one of the, um, like one of the containers that you would bring at the, uh, at the, for, you know, one of the drop bins that you use for the, uh, for the transition. But yeah, but if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thanks for watching.